Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that there's going to be some more variety slash other games appearing on the YouTube channel aside from Path of Exile content. Uh, mainly because I typically don't play the full three month uh, league for Path of Exile. I usually play like a month or two months or so. Uh, I used to take really long extended breaks, like four to six months to play MMOs, but considering how MMOs have been on the decline for so many years, it's kind of difficult for me to do that. Um, and I'm just not really too interested in checking out too many of the MMOs. If I am going to revisit, or not revisit one, but go to one, with the exception of Maple Story 2, which I'm still not even sure if I'm going to play, uh, it would be like the new Final Fantasy, or whatever, the old Final Fantasy, the one that's a Realm Reborn, but that's not what this video is for. Anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about some other games you're going to see appearing on the YouTube channel. Um, it may not be all of these, it may be only one or two of them, uh, but also more or less for the stream, because I know if, for example, you clicked on one of my build guides from a month ago, and all of a sudden you see me playing Terraria on my stream and my YouTube, you're like, what the fuck, this guy's not posting PoE content anymore? Unsub. And that's totally fine, I just want to let you guys know ahead of time. So, um... I think I may still play a little bit more in Path of Exile since I'm playing softcore this league. It's a lot easier for me to just jump back into the game, um, you know, and just like, you know, it's okay if I die. Opposed to hardcore, typically when I stop playing the league for like a few days, I'm pretty much just done for the rest of the league because it's a bit more difficult to get back in. So, um, to talk about some of the games we're going to be seeing, uh, if you guys are not aware, um, Warcraft 3 custom games is something I often stream. I actually, for over a year, used to have Warcraft Fridays where we do custom games with viewers. Uh, a lot of these typically encompass tower defenses, um, very micro-heavy tower defenses, very customizable tower defenses, and very lazy custom defenses, along with... Um, did I say custom tower defenses? Sorry. Along with like a bunch of survival games, team-based games, solo games, even really good RPGs are on there as well. Um, Terraria is something that may not pop up, but if I decide to skip the Warcraft scene um, and like do like a couple days or a week of something, I may do Terraria Vanilla. Uh, down here, I decided to post down, if you actually go in my stream and use the exclamation mark future command, it'll bring up this. This is basically games I'm looking forward to. Um, Ashes of Creation is a new MMO that's coming out in the near future. Um, I think actually it's in quarter one or quarter two of, I don't know if it's closed beta or alpha right now, I haven't been keeping too much up to date with it. Torchlight Frontiers is another ARPG slash MMO that's coming out, kind of similar to the style of like, I don't want to say Davillion, but let's just use Davillion. Although I'm a bit concerned about this game because I took like a little first glance and it looked very Diablo 3 style in terms of your customization like very simple and like I don't know I, I like more complexity to a lot of my games uh, Which I may sound hypocritical when I keep talking, but anyway, let's move on this one this you know this We'll see what happens here uh, Grim Dawn Forgotten Gods I have played quite a bit of Grim Dawn actually Grim Dawn is a super phenomenal action role-playing game if I did not recommend Path of Exile to people I would recommend Grim Dawn um, especially for people who like the Theorycraft, super phenomenal game. But like I said, unfortunately, we don't have an expansion until 2019. But one of the cool things is with this expansion, they're doing a really nice balance of the game where they're basically releasing another one-hand shield class or just shield class in general. Grimdon doesn't really have much like shield characters within all their customization except for like Soldier and uh, I think maybe just Soldier. So with, I forgot what... Oathbreaker, I think, is uh, one of the new classes coming out, so super excited for that. Risk of Rain 2, if you guys have seen or played Risk of Rain 1, uh, Risk of Rain 2 is here, well, it's not here yet, but there's some really cool footage of it. They basically turn it into 3D, um, and it has a great, like, feeling and immersion to it. I'm definitely going to check this out. This is one of my most anticipated games of just, like, the roguelike genre that I cannot wait to play. I do risk and well, not risk. I do get a little scared because since I've played Risk of Rain 1 so much, I'm scared I may get bored by Risk of Rain 2 too easily if it's like an exact copy of the first one without too much other stuff. But just in general, the graphics and stuff, the art style looks phenomenal in Risk of Rain 2 if you check it out. Now, in terms of uh, games that are going to be popping up here really soon, I guess I should have covered this first. Maple Story 2 is coming out tomorrow. Um, I didn't do any of like the supporter pack stuff. I Initially, I was like, Maple Story 2, oh my god, this looks, this, this is amazing. I love the first Maple Story. I didn't really play it that much, but it was, you know, it was around my time growing up. I literally remember running back from school to go look at my cleric because I would sit with a stapler on my keyboard on 2 because 2 was my heal, and I would just heal, and I had a passive called MP Eater, which would, like, siphon the, the mana from monsters. You would steal it and give it back to your character. So I'd, like, run back home to make sure my character was still AFKing and stuff. So, you know... 
just MapleStory 2, I had a lot of expectation for. The problem with MapleStory 2 to me is I feel they went a little bit too much on like the, the weeaboo slash fan service side. Um, you know, it's really chibi and I don't really mind anime style. Anime style is cool, but chibi is kind of just like a little weird for me. Um, I, I may check it out. I don't really know. Like I said, I do like MMOs. It looks all right. I just really am not appealed, like, like interested in the art style too much, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's a question mark. We'll see what's happening there. Assassin's Creed, uh, if you guys aren't unaware of the Twitch bounty system, um, the Twitch bounty system is a really cool, basically, system in place with Twitch where as a streamer you can get bounties, and bounties are essentially based off of the genre of games you play. Um, if a game is, is registered with the Twitch bounty system, basically I would get a key and I just have to follow the rules, so it's basically like a sponsored stream. Um, but it doesn't matter because it comes with the key. I'm gonna, I'm only gonna take keys for games I enjoy. And then after the bounty is done, which is just one hour, I can just play the game and like enjoy it. So the Twitch bounty system is honestly a phenomenal thing that's been in place. And I have Assassin's Creed on my bounty and I'm probably gonna be installing it and playing it either tomorrow or the day after as well. And I've heard a lot of good things from Assassin's Creed to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Like I said, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what's been going on on the YouTube channel or what will continue to go on on the YouTube channel. I don't want to leave you guys dry or anything. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoy the future content. Hope you guys enjoy the future games on the stream and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care everyone.